Healthy, how's it going? Welcome. <laughs> How you doing? Subspace, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? Speed, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome. Starting a little later than usual, but tis fine. <laughs> yeah, I heard of that. <laughs> nice going, guys. Jeez, look at the plaza. I'm gonna check out all the hub worlds while I'm here. already know the halftime report but it's pretty darn close ah Marlin Airport eh. okay before I check out the hub worlds I'm gonna do the usual, check out the shop, see if there's anything new. Probably won't be, but we can always check. Wow, what? <laughs> that is like... Given the team I'm on, there you go. Yeah, legit. What a time for this name. Holy cow. Fugazi, welcome. How you doing? Hi, How how's it going? Meep meep. Meep. Okay, anything new? Nope, nothing new, nothing new. And nothing new, despite how many I new pieces of gear. That's a really cool looking guitar, holy cow. Illustrated Insect Field Guide. Yay! We have the Creatorpedia from Animal Crossing now. Not really. John, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? Okay, one moment. I'm gonna have to check the Splatnet 3 real quick, just in case. I highly doubt there's anything new, but we can always check. Doing okay, thank you for asking. I think the whole world looks pretty. Splat net three. It says they uh, slam three three three. Yep. They got us a three 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 under their belt. Nice. And yes, as expected. Nothing new in the splat net either. <laughs> oh well. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Jeez, the tower looks pretty neat with the bear color. <laughs> what the frick? Uh, technically, I guess it's the great sapfish representing the third team, yeah. Because it's on the tower. Okay, ride rail. Let's check out Splatsville. You only came across the 10 times battle for Bunny so far? Well, that's still good. That's still good. Bubbles! Oh, check it out. It's their symbol up there. That's pretty neat. I guess I should uh, 
try to upgrade some of the Springfest gear yet. Yeah. More purple than pink, but it'll do. We'll start with these. McKirby, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? Okay, I'm gonna check out Splatoon 2 Square before we get started. Hello, jellyfish. Is the disco ball still there? No. <gasps> oh, that's neat. It's really nice to hear this song again. Holy cow. Nostalgia. Okay, but let's get going. I'm gonna stick to the Splitch in One Hub World for a minute. And let's see. What weapon do I feel like using? I don't know. I actually kind of want to start off using all of the rollers. Okay, not that kit. Yeah, look, this is almost like the same color scheme as the Berry Splatter Shop Pro from Splatoon 1. That's pretty neat. Uh, what's the other kit? God, it's got... Ooh, it's got a better special, though. Uh, I'll stick with the vanilla one. Why not? Actually, the colorful appearance of this actually fits the, the theme as well, so why not? Why not indeed? Okay, so if you were on the same team as me, you can join. Uh, first, let me go ahead and make a pool real quick. We're going to call it... Bunnies. Okay, so let me go ahead and pin both of those. Bunnies. There we go. Let's get started. I wonder why you can't play a pro with friends. It's kind of annoying. Because isn't pro supposed to be like the competitive version, quote unquote? So I think you'd be able to, yeah. Invites going out. Nice. Let's do it. The uh, funny thing is, you know, when you're playing Splatfest, you want to use weapons that you know you're you can do well with. But at the same time, it's one of those things that's like I also want to try on new weapons because it's one of the only few times I actually play the game for more than like 20 minutes. So, yeah. The OG Cephalo Tears. Let's do it. Okay, the maps are both are okay, I guess. Ooh, bubbles. Wow, Team Chicks. 
I'm actually surprised we don't see cherry blossoms floating around, given the theme. But bubbles are okay. Bubbles work too. This roller does not one hit. I don't. I don't think it one hits even a, on a direct. Not entirely sure about that though. I've only used this roller like once or twice. Ah, screw off! It is the ultimate painting weapon though. <laughs> if I can get my special weapon, that'd be good. Excuse me, wait, what? Oh, they must have combined in with the Clash Blast. I was like, that's not a two hit. That's a three hit. Good. It makes the only consistent roller in this game the vanilla one, which is fine by me because that's the roller I enjoy using the most. It would be, it would be the carbon if its one hit area wasn't literally directly in your face. Excuse me, what? Okay, Jesus. Yeah, this roller ain't too hot either. Might have been a win. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. You know what? I should be using the banner that we got. Jeez. First win of the day. Two, three, four. It's like this roller's like a combination of the carbon. And the dynamo. It's got like the range of the dynamo, but the speed of the carbon, though it's. It's not. It does not do a lot of damage, like at all. Yeah, it does not one hit at all. The vertical one hits, but not the horizontal. Wow. How come the vertical one hits, but the horizontal doesn't? That's kind of stupid. Battle time.
against bears. I do like the color for bears, though. It's really nice looking. I can get some chip damage. Jeez, the ink pack is not that good at all. That huge delay before you can actually fire the shot is so stupid. Well, next roller I'll be using is the fling cell, which is not much better. This roller is terrible. Holy cow, so bad. Pincered. Nice. Stupid back? Jeez, this thing sucks. Toon Link, how's it going? Welcome. How you doing? I should just uh, spam those. Watch them, I call it. We we're fighting Cephalorock. And we just barely won. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? And that levels up this gear. Okay, if there's anyone who would like to play, uh, please let me know. Where's the flings up? Next up, we'll be upgrading. Uh, trying to go with matching colors. Bud Zone, yes. Some person is glitching once. Noise. Okay, time for another bizarre roller. At least ten of missiles. <laughs> yeah, we just ran into Cephalo Rock. I've run into them a few times in these flat fests. Just shows how little people are playing this game. On a 
two win streak. I think that's a pretty good rank. <gasps> oh, that'll go to almost all four. Ouch. <laughs> They had a DC. Ah, Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Because most of them are underground. <laughs> oh, you're European? Oh, nice. They win two, three, three, three battles. Oh, nice. Okay, actually, uh, I'm going to take that t opportunity to stop here. I'm going to change my banner. <laughs> Only problem is, where the heck even is the spring themed one at? Jeez. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I need to check out the new tiles, too. Um... Undying Rabbit. <laughs> Holy cow, that's funny. Okay, uh, feel free to rejoin. Feel free to rejoin. Actually, yeah, there was one thing that I did not notice with the new rework of Undertow Spillway. They actually gave some kind of, it's not exactly gonna help in flanking that much, but it can. They made it so that underneath the uninkable uh, glass ceiling thing, there's a little pillar that you can go behind. So that can help with flanking, I guess. But given how small it is, I'm not so sure. What is the one hit range? Okay, it's definitely not this. How slow this thing flings, that's pretty pathetic. That's pretty bad. Dang, that's a pretty consistent one hit area though. Holy fudge. Okay, so if you want to splat someone with this thing, always use the vertical flick or the horizontal flick. Don't use the vertical flick. Use vertical flick for inking. It's kind of like a tri slosher the way it goes out. What the frick? Again, this is kind of like a carbon roller combined with a dynamo. Oh wow, there's actually confetti in the ink. What the freak? That's pretty neat. I 
Okay, I'm gonna send the invite out one more time, then we shall get started. There's actually confetti in the ink. That's pretty neat. E, welcome. How's it going? Are they sprinkles? Uh. I guess they can be. Well, given, uh, you know, it's cupcakey, so yeah, I guess it is. Let's see. They look kind of sprinkly, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, they are sprinkles. That's neat. Eat it? Okay. Yum, yum. yum. Okay, let's go. Holy cow, that's not... That's three hitting. What the frick? Where'd Soap Space and Speed go? That's some pretty good one-hit range for a roller. I think that's better than the vanilla roller, actually. On team, Cubs but you chose Bunny. I get you. I like the color for Cubs, though, but... Uh, given the theme and the season is representing... Yeah, Bunnies. like cherry blossom pretty chose money too nice i mean if there's anyone who'd like to play uh you're more than welcome to you can certainly play if you're on team bunnies you'll join Alrighty. The spring gear they added is pretty neat, too, though. Actually, not too bad. This map again. You don't like deep cut spring outfits? I think they're alright. I like the way they decorated the hub worlds though. Really nice looking. Then you need that ink res. Holy fudge. Woo! Ink all the square looks so beautiful. I think they all look really nice. Thanks for activating my ink mine. Hello. Jeez, this thing does not want to hit with a horizontal a vertical flip. Jeez Louise. Do the lobby? I'll send the invite as soon as this match is over. I like these fizzy, uh, little fizzy things. They're really nice. Nice addition. It kind of, in a way, gives weapons without viable sub-weapons a viable sub-weapon. Um, excuse me? Nice leg you got there.
tea. That quick respawn ain't gonna do anything for you now, isn't it? Nintendo just needs to get rid of both quick respawn and respawn punisher, just flat out. Because those two abilities just are just kind of dumb. Okay, let me send the invite again, and we shall see if it works. But wait, I need to... Oh, okay. That works too, I guess. Okay, please have good maps. What do we got? Uh, Inkbot and ship shape cargo. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. As long as Barnacle and Dumb isn't one of them, we're good. Seriously, that map is like the worst map in the series, the entire Splatoon series. That map is atrocious. The first 30 seconds is literally just rushing to the enemy's base, and then you pin them down, and they can't get out. Hey, Doggo. Seriously, Barnacle and Dime is the worst map in the entire Splatoon series. That thing frickin' that map is atrocious. That's you? Alrighty. Do 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 do. Okay, I'll send the invite out again. There you are. D will this one hit? No, it will not. Is that one you, uh, uh Kirby? Just want to make sure, because I know you want to join. Yay! That's you? Alrighty, let's go. sure which team is the most popular one but I, th I think it's team bunnies it might be team bunnies but oddly enough I have not well I'm not gonna say anything cuz yeah I have not seen I've not had a mirror match yet so that's good that means I might be able to that means we might be able to play I help her. I'm not. A, I'm not too big on this map. I think it's one of the weaker designs. Holy cow! This thing is so ink hungry. It's not even funny. Oh, I'm alive. <laughs> I thought I got splattered, so I stopped moving. Jeez, I can't stand it when that happens. It's like, oh, you think you get splattered, but then you you actually you actually didn't, so you stopped moving, and as a result, that's how you get splattered. That's not annoying at all. this down right here. No. 
nice. I was about to say, yeah, you are not... You did not... Nope. <laughs> Gotta call it a night now. Take your speed. Have a good one. Thanks for joining. Surprise! Jordan, how's it going? You're welcome. I'm glad you do, thank you. And yes, you can join, as long as you're on Team Bunnies. There's someone right at the base, watch out. The blue on Cubs is pretty nice looking though. Dang, I couldn't get that last one thrown. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna switch to a roller that's a little more viable. Albeit specifically because of the kit that it has. <laughs> Sheldon's license. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna do a few more uh, matches with this group and then I'll switch it out. Gold Dynamo. Um. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother wasting my time with those abilities. I'm gonna use Ink Saber Main with this thing. time. <laughs> Roll the pink. Pretty pink. I mean, yeah, it's spring season, so I think of cherry blossom, so it's pink. That and Easter, so bunnies. I mean, chicks are a part of Easter, too. You got those little chick marshmallow thingies, but I'm not sure where bear cubs come into play. Guess I just needed a third option. <laughs> That's why triple themed swag fests are kind of dumb in my opinion like they could have just kept it two themes as usual but then big could be a neutral third party an interesting onslaught of specials. It's really nice how the fizzy banks don't even require ink to use. I saw your squid beacon. you're on Team Cubs, uh, then you won't be able to join us. Sorry. You can only really play with if you're on Team Bunnies, because that's how Splatfests work.
What am I doing? What am I doing? I am. I I still managed to get that one. Nice. Go ahead and paint that area up there. Boom. I tossed my sub weapon. So that could help. Nice, let's go. I'm gonna want the high ground uh, due to the weapon I'm using. <laughs> That was good. Have a second account school team, you can join bunnies. Oh, okay. It's just gonna be a low level. Alrighty. Uh, and you won't have to send me a friend, a friend request, because there's these things called pools now. If you type in the pool name, and I send an invite, you should be able to join that way. Ink saver main with this thing is pretty much a must have. Okay, I'm gonna do one more match here, and then I'll switch it out. Jeez, you think it'd be just a little bit further? Just a little bit. At least it's got good synergy with the slap on, so that's good. Ship shape cargo, nice. Aurora Borealis! You DC'd? Oh, good job, Nintendo. Can I roll someone over? No. <laughs> Literally, no one actually does the roll attack with this thing. Where is that? It's way back there. How the heck did that not one hit? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you won't run that by me again. I'll take the trade. 
I'll take the trade. Good. Nice try, buddy. Darn it, this swing is so slow. Ugh. Still fun to use and sometimes. Welcome, Wolf Bro. How's it going? Oh boy, the real arm I'm gonna use after this one is. It would be fun if it was actually good. But given how much Nintendo butchered it, yeah, it's no fun. <laughs> Time to use the carbon roller. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch lobbies out now though, so if you'd like to join, now's your chance. That you won your first 333? Three, three, three. Nice! Okay, time for a carpet roller. Time to play using a wet noodle. Actually, given how I'm doing that, I'm probably gonna go ahead and use Soul and Speed Up. I need to upgrade these shoes anyway, so. Okay, so the pool name and password are pinned at the top of the chat. this was one hit range, then it'd be good. I do not know why this is not one hit range. How close do you have to be? <laughs> oh, seriously? For vertical. Still not even. Ah, jeez Louise. Yeah, after Nintendo nerf nerfed Burst Bombs to Oblivion, which they did not have to do, but this is Nintendo. Not like they can do anything right at this point. How in the heck? Oh, because that, that was a direct. Duh. Holy cow, that's, a, that's ridiculous. Now it has 160 points for a special. Like, why? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's got Zipcaster, and that on a carbon roller isn't going to do much, so maybe Nintendo's just trying to get people to play it. Well, I don't know, Nintendo. Maybe people would use certain kits if you actually made them fun. You know what I mean? Instead of pulling random kits out of hats, you would actually think about some fun synergistic kits for people to use. You know. Uh, you know. Okay, I'm going to send the invite out uh, a few more times, and then we shall get started. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. What synergy does any of that have with the reflux? Literally none. Literally none. Even the, like, throwback kits aren't that good because, you know, Crack on, Kraken Royale is not Kraken. 
triple ink strike is not ink strike. And Squid Beacon's on a roller with how bad the maps are in this game. You practically do not have a sub weapon. Sure, I guess it's it's nice to get back into the action faster, but that's only if your opponents don't see the beacons, which they can do easily because the maps are all flat always. There's no like good strategic place to put them. I'm going to send the invite out one more time, and then we shall get started. They don't even give you, like, proper test dummies. Like, the test dummies here... They don't recover health like an actual player does, so... You're seeing... Not exactly accurate performance with the weapons. Okay, one more invite, and then... Why does it pull you in like that? That is just bizarre. Did you send your iPad? It's cool. Okay, are we ready? Okay, let's go. They do not need to have burst bombs cost... 45% of green. They, they should have just kept it at 40. I don't know why they changed it. It's really dumb. And people seem to think that burst bombs on a vanilla slosher would be OP. And I say, yeah, no, it would not. Because, one, they cost more ink. Two, sub res is a thing. And burst bombs and fizzy bombs are both hit pretty heavily with that ability. All it takes is one sub to get rid of any combo potential. And it's really dumb. And three, they reduced the effective AOE, so you're going to be getting the 35% area a lot less often. So, yeah, burst bombs on a Venom Slosher in this game would not be OP at all. If anything, it'd just be fun. It'd be a nice throwback. Uh-oh. Ooh. 100 times and I'm using a wet noodle. Great. If we lose, you can blame the carbon roller. Isn't this the same people we ran into? How little people are playing this game exactly? I'm surprised I managed to get that splat. Sorry if I'm not talking much, I am in hard concentration mode. We can now hold more fizzy bangs. You need ink resin in this game, it's a necessity. Holy cow, dude. J5, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? This 
kind of shows that you cannot have fun using other weapons during this weapons because Nintendo will rig it so that you get 100 times battles when you're using a weapon you're not good with. <laughs> That's... They did that in Splatoon 2 as well. That was my first ever 100 times battle. So fizzy bangs only do 0.01 damage. Got it. <laughs> I wonder if these things are affected by sub res. Oh my gosh, screw this weapon. <laughs> screw this weapon. Screw this weapon. It should not take that many hits. <laughs> Just flat someone with this thing. Oh my gosh, why? Going against Agent Grable Bobbers. Dang. Ah, uh, this weapon is so trash. It should not have taken three swings to splat that roller that was directly in front of me. This weapon is garbage. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Oh my gosh, it does 0, 0.01% damage per hit. Even if it's in their face, this weapon is so bad. Ah. So why am I using it? I don't know. I guess I'm a masochist. <laughs> so yeah, I blame the fact that I was using this weapon that we lost. This weapon is literally an I want to lose weapon. If I was using the Trice Dreamer, we would have had a better chance. And we all know that weapon's pretty much unviable. What team am I? I'm on Team Bunnies. Okay, so... It was still close, though. It was still close. Like, a little over just 1%. If this carbon roller actually did damage, I probably could have tossed out some of those fizzy banks. Oh, our first mirror match. Okay, good. I'm using the carbon roller, so this match ain't gonna do anything. Good. Because this weapon is the equivalent to having a DC. Garbage. <laughs> Even the Donna was better than the Carbon in this game. At least this match doesn't do anything. FNAF? Well, then again, people are making FNAF references with this team. Because that's all Nintendo does anymore. The last Lapis was clearly ripping off Sonic Underground. Now this one is clearly ripping off FNAF, because I had to throw bears into the mix. Instead of something else. But hey, you're kinda nice. Even though it was the... This fucking freaking sucks. Even though that was the main boss of the story. A bear. Even the tricep just sucks, kind of. <laughs> Yay, Splashdown is actually good in this game. One of my favorite specials. Flat out.
do. You got cheated up a 3 to 3 and a 100? Did you DC? <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of this wet noodle and use the one that's a little more viable. Our first mirror match though, so... Okay, let's use a more viable weapon. Not a 0.01% damage dealt up in your face weapon. <laughs> Crashed uh, on one end, the uh, the one your teammate DC before the match started. Wow. Team Little Bunnies! Okay. I just want to level up these shoes. Slim speed up is good on roller, so the closer you get to their target, the better. Ooh, it's a cotton candy bubble. I do not know why they make it so that you can't pull up this screen while a special like that is active. What primitive t technology are you working with here, Nintendo? Jeez. Okay, I'm going to send another invite out here very soon. As soon as it any second now, thank you, Jeez. The worst part is it was your first three 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 times ever. Dang. I personally think that battle multipliers are just dumb, honestly. That's just me though. I, I really can't stand battle multipliers. It just makes everyone go try hard mode, and then if you lose, it's so demoralizing. If you win, then it's pretty much, yay, that gives us a closer chance of winning. It's like, seriously. Just remove battle multipliers, please. Waiting for Nintendo's primitive technology. So I can send one more invite, and then we shall get started. You actually almost snapped your switch in half. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that I blame you. Okay, is that it? If so, we can go ahead and get started. Let's go. Here we go. What's the one hit range on this one actually? Still not too good. Yeah, that's pretty decent. A little closer. There we go. I think you need to be up here. Yeah, that's about right. Let's do it. Da 
that took long enough. <laughs> Jeez. And then after I'm done with this roller, I'm just gonna stick to the wiper. <laughs> Didn't even notice you're on the team. <laughs> Jeez. Got the boobler out. But it go bye bye. How do I join? Okay, so you just have to look for uh, the cool name, which is Bunnies. I will send an invite, and then you can join that way. Oh, right over. Holy cow. You better not be using your spawn punisher. Okay, good. Jeez. Actually, no, I'm going to use the ink brush once, because that's actually the fun weapon to use. And then I'll stick to the wiper. GG's. I might do the tri-string here a little bit, but... Upgrading gear this time takes way too long. Like legit, it takes way too long. That's insane. Greetings! It's battle time. Okay, so after this match, I'll go ahead and switch things up. Is 
just wish to fight anyways. <laughs> Managed to get one. I'm gonna stick to the middle. Actually, no, I'm gonna go up here. compensation weapon, the .52 gal. Yep, that's a light compensation weapon. Flat out. Sam, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? Got somebody. You're on Team Bear Cubs? Noise. That quick respawn ain't gonna do you any good now, buddy. Seriously, I just get rid of quick respawn and respawn punisher on Nintendo. Okay, now let's switch over to a weapon that's a little more viable. And how long have I been streaming for now? An hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so got a little time to go. Okay, I'm gonna switch lobbies out now. I mean, the roller itself is pretty viable, but still kind of inconsistent with this one hits area. Especially with how bad the latency is in this game. The latency is definitely the worst it's been in the Splatoon series in this game. <laughs> I think everything's been the worst it's been in this game in the Splatoon series. Where is the brush? There it is. Okay, not everything, but a good chunk of things, definitely. Points for second place in Conchos, at least. Eh, that much is true, yeah. Now, let's use a weapon that's uh, you kind of enjoy using a little more. Rollers and Splutch in one are a real fun weapon to play. Too bad they ruined this what this brush kit with killer fail. And no, you didn't make that up into no I did. You steal ideas. Oops. 
such a garbage special. <laughs> Holy cow. Splatoon 1 is gone. I must use Pretendo. Which I might do. You dropped your Wii U once and it doesn't work anymore? Really? Just one drop. Okay, one more invite and then we shall get started. Okay, so if you want to join but you have not yet, literally look for the invite, look for the pool name Bunnies, and the password. Both the pool name and password are pinned to the top of the chat. No need to send me a friend request. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's see what's playing. Well, can't now. And it's a mirror match. Whoop de doo dee da. Whose name is theirs? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> that name, though. Lols. This match ain't gonna do anything. Slap them plus busy bang combo is actually pretty good. Jeez. But Killer Whale is called Killer Fail for a reason. Killer Fail. It's not even a good displacement special. People can literally moonwalk to avoid it. Like, actually, you can be on the tower and that, like, this it tracks you the, at the speed you're moving. So, if you're on the tower, it's not going to touch you. The killer whale is so stupid. Nice to know Team Bunnies has all the tryhards. <laughs> still is if you're on the popular team you're probably not going to win because you'll be getting more mirror matches than anything <laughs> so i feel like if people actually want shiver to win they're gonna have to not pick her team
or fry, yeah, whatever. I, I really don't care much for the Splinter 3 items, honestly. The, uh, fry is the only one that has any real personality. Shiver is kind of just there. And Big Man is kind of on the sidelines, almost. Like, Fry's the only one who shows any kind of personality, really. That's just me, though. Okay, so that was match one? Yeah. Who's just there if you ask me? Shiver is the one who shows leadership of the group. While also... Kind of just also being there. I mean, yeah, they all have their own personalities, but... Fry's the one that kind of is more expressive, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Fry is a lot more expressive. Which I think gives her more personality, I guess, quote unquote. Ran into someone on Team Saturday with the name <laughs> Shiver. Jeez. Yeah, they each have their own personalities, but Fry is just more expressive. Meanwhile, you got the other idols like, you know, Squid Sisters, who are polar opposites. Cowley is, you know, really upbeat and en energetic, while Kelly's more laid back and kind of just chill. Or no, that is the other way. <laughs> and I like how their names actually make a pun off of Calamari. Kelly and Marie. Meanwhile, uh, Deep Cut's uh, names are just the scientific term for what they're, they represent. So, not exactly as creative. And then you got Pearl and Marina, which is a play off of Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Killer failed! Don't do anything! Uh, of course I ran out of me. I swear, literally every weapon in this game is twice as ink hungry than they were in the previous two games. <laughs> Anything, Splatoon 1 uh, represents the theme of chaos better than this game does because of how, like, busted each special was. While this one definitely gears more towards order because of how handicapped everything is. So yeah, Nintendo, your brains are in backwards, 100%. Who's my favorite idol of the group? I really don't have my, my fa favorite idol group. It's probably, probably off the hook. Probably off the hook. Funny, considering order lost. That's the thing, though. Th this game is so much more restrictive. It's almost as if 
it's a complete opposite of chaos. <laughs> but yeah, Nintendo's brains aren't backwards. Everyone knows this. Was well, alright when you're waiting for a match to begin. I kind of like the music when got a fist bump. Oh yeah. Okay, wiper time. Okay, good friends again. The fist bump feature is pretty nice, yeah. Even though handshakes one kind of shows that. Kind of shows that whoever wins the Splatfest doesn't mean anything. Because everyone's still going to do what they do. You're all going to keep representing what they prefer. Another invite? Oh yeah, handshake sense, handshake on the spot fest. That's what I'm saying. Like Nintendo doesn't even know their own lore anymore. They just see a money maker, so they're gonna be milk and Splatoon like Activision milks Call of Duty. Like EA milks Battlefield. They really need to adjust the way the torpedo works. I should be getting a lock on cursor if I'm holding it down. That way I know who it's gonna lock on to, kind of like the seeker in Splatoon 1. And if it gets shot out of the sky, it sh should still do the cluster. I don't know why it doesn't. It's kind of dumb. Would I play with a sniper or a blaster? I'd rather use a blaster. See, that's called fun! Having a weapon that synergizes well with its own weapon. That's called fun! Something Nintendo obviously doesn't want people to have in this game. Because all the rest of the kits are just garbage. Try Nintendo. Do, 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 do. I wanted to roll the torpedo, not throw it. Why did it lock on? Ouch. 
Ink res is a necessity in this game. Holy cow, it is 100% a necessity. If you're not using it, you're not playing the game, right? Hello. Good. I'm gonna guess this twice. Dang. That's just how little people are playing this game. You get mashed up with the same people over and over again. <laughs> Even when you leave the lobbies. Stamps have to force, but mine doesn't. Yay! I just want to upgrade these shoes and then get back to the shoes I wear. Wow, close game. GG's. <laughs> How long have I been training for? Oh, you got another, about another half hour to go. Nice. Nice. Wiper blade is fun. That's why I made it. That, and we finally get a more traditional sword weapon. Yeah, you could argue the splat rollers are also the so a sword. You can argue the uh, ink brushes are a sword. Because they're all melee weapons, but this one is like sword sword. <laughs> it sucks they butchered the bow and arrow style weapon. Okay, yeah, so theirs will have the force, but mine won't. Yeah, their ultra sounds will be able to splat me from 10,000 yards away, but mine doesn't. That's another reason I like this weapon. You're very freaking nimble with it. Very quick. I like being able to do this thing called move. Send me a message in the Discord. I'll check that out in just a sec. Okay, let's start using this more like a range. Ouch. 
Splashdown is good in this game. I'll see if I am. Uh, so space. Oh yeah, run speed up doesn't really do anything for this button either. Uh, let me switch back to my gear. That's right, you can't change shirts. I'd rather not use ability chunks on a shirt that's gonna be just for like a splat fist, cause I'd rather save them for a sh you know, gear I'm actually going to use. Lobby? Uh, no, you can rejoin if you'd like to. Okay, I'm gonna send the invite out again. Wait at least 20 seconds before rejoining. I mean, it's cool. Okay, I'm gonna send one more invite and then we shall get started. Last night I said this, song claim right now sounds like it's out of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. We all know Nintendo's been pretty much unoriginal at this point. Okay, one more invite and then we shall get started. If you would like to rejoin, you can do so. Any second now, thank you. Jeez, that takes forever, <laughs> what the frick. Cashin only shows at the end of the fest. Yeah, I do the same thing. Which you should do, otherwise, you know. It's like, uh, use them or lose them kind of thing. Which to me is kind of dumb. I think you should be able to hold on to them even after uh, the splat fests. Okay, 
Okay, one more invite, then we'll get started. Look at the sprinkles. Look at these sprinkles. Alright, let's go. I think what Nintendo should do to make this fucking just a little more consistent is bump this up to 64 damage and then bump this up to 32. And then direct hits will be 48, while that will be 128. I just think I think that just be nicer for a, to make the weapon a little more consistent, especially with online latency, you know, whatever. Surprisingly, only had like two mirror matches. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. You think chicks would be yellow, right? See, ink res is good. Yeah, that's right. The torpedo really needs to still do the cluster if it gets shot down. I don't know why it doesn't. It's really dumb. And if you hold it down, it needs to give you some kind of target indicator, like the seeker did in Splatoon 1. I'm just gonna keep distracting the charger. Stay right here. Just for fun. Okay, I'm gonna do one more match and then I'll reset. Room. Seventy four. I guess I'll 
guess that can help. This weapon almost doesn't need ink reds because it paints its feet with its slash. So ink reds on this weapon specifically may not be a necessity. But any other slower weapon, yeah, it's definitely a necessity. Blood Ortho Academy. Not too. I don't like this. Uh, this map's okay, but again, not the best. It's like once you're pinned down, you're kind of screwed it as well. There is a flanking route, but it's very easy to counter. Hee <laughs> hee. That's right, buddy. Okay. Uh, much more. Try it, buddy. You ain't jumping into our base. That looked pretty close. Kind of cool I can see the enemy spawn from there. Yeah, this map kind of sucks. Once you... Once you're pinned down, it's kind of hard to get back out. Okay, I think I'm going to do another two more rooms and then call it a stream. Rambo in 40 minutes. <laughs> Balls. Oh boy, do I really want to use this weapon? Yeah, let's use it. Whatever. 
Nintendo stolen Nintendo stole a fan idea and they butchered it while trying to make it look like it was their original concept. Lols. Seriously. That's what it needs a complete rework. Okay, first of all, the kit is just practically non-existent. And the weapon itself, it works just fine when it's in painting mode. Like, that's how it should work, in painting mode. But when it's fully charged, all three need to line up into the center to guarantee a one-hit. Half charge can stay like that, but yeah, all three need to line up to the center to guarantee a one-hit. Because that right there, if you're just a smidge off, yeah, that is stupid. I'm sorry. That is just freaking dumb. Like, actually. There's go. And with online latency, yeah. Sucks the order replica version of this weapon is this kit. Jeez. They didn't even, didn't even change up the kit the, for the actual, you know, uh, for the actual tower. It's so stupid. It's like Nintendo is just, Nintendo, it's like Nintendo wants people to think this kit is good. Well, guess what, Nintendo? It's good in side order, but that's because you're playing against AI. Okay, so shut up. Just shows how little Nintendo actually tests their games. Let's do it. Max out Stringer. <laughs> Inside order. I literally give the Stringer like burst bombs, and the special is. I think I give it Tri Strike. Ouch. Because the kit that it has by default is atrociously unusable. Toxic Mist is basically not a non existent, and Killer Fail is. Well, yeah, true to his name, kill or fail. We all call it the kill or fail for reason, or at least I do. <laughs> you didn't make that up, Nintendo, no, I did. You steal like this. Summon DC. Probably would have been a rage. Probably a rage quick. Seriously, Splatfist and Splatoon 3 are just not fun at all. Even the stage can stop the shots. That is just so dumb. Jeez. That wasn't a one hit? I'll be fine. Thank. 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 Now I have somewhat of a viable sub weapon in the form of the little fizzy bangs for this, which actually do pair nicely with this a little explosive bolts.
The blast radius on these things are so tiny too. Moon, welcome. How's it going? How you doing? with this weapon and then I'm gonna do one more lobby and call it a stream why was the killer whale aiming under the floor. Not only does the special weapon sucks, it's also stupid. <laughs> At this patch we just got, Kraken Cheese is finally dead. Yep, you can no longer cheese with the Kraken and the Clam Blitz. See, Nintendo doesn't test anything. Jeez. And it took them how how long after it's been released to finally fix it? She's the ways. Good job. You had to use your special to take to, to take that. Jeez. This weapon's object damage is also really, really bad. It's almost Nintendo designed this weapon with damage not being in mind. Damage was not what Nintendo had in mind with this weapon. Not sure what they had in mind other than just stealing a fan concept idea. Still being a oh, okay. No ice. Okay, that went well. Okay, I'm gonna do one more lobby and then call it a stream. I actually should showcase the revamped undertow just for the heck of it. I'm gonna go 
ahead and change my gear real quick. Ooh, little bunny just went at three, three, three times. Who we got? Nice. Let's go. Okay, this will be the last two matches, and then I'm going to call it a stream. Let's do it. Run speed up is actually pretty good on this weapon. Yeah, these need to be lined up into the center to guarantee a one hit. <laughs> wow. This is a pretty good indication of this weapon right here. Oh yeah, it shots won't stick to greats, but it'll stick to these, right? Jeez, Nintendo. You guys really have no idea what you're doing with these weapons anymore, don't you? One more, and then we shall get started. Uh, let's go. Let's go. And the way they uh, reworked the killer whale still doesn't help it out at all. That little sound effect doesn't, it literally doesn't do anything. If you could manually, manually select who you're targeting, then that'd be great. much like how the torpedo is kind of messed up K kind of still needs reworked in this game that way someone jumping in the way of who you're targeting won't make it target them instead the torpedo needs reworked in this game jeez Anything. 
What's this weapon's damage per head? 0.01%? 0, 0. This weapon is just unusable. It really is. But then again, this game is kind of unplayable. With all the DCs and how bad you get pinned down with these bad map designs. <laughs> I don't even qualify this as a game in that case. If it were a game, you could play it, but you can't. <laughs> Gabriel, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? Okay, one more match and then I'm calling it a stream. Oh yeah, isn't there like a one random weapon rotation going on in Saturn right now? Jeez. Seriously, that's the best she could do in Nintendo? Last match of the stream. Let's go. Jeez. To think this is the weapon Nintendo put on, like, first ever showed. Like, within the first reveal trailer, this is the weapon they showed. It's like they knew it'd be so bad that they wanted to give it some screen time, so they just put it in the opening the trailer. Even though it's not there in the actual game, because you always start off with the junior, because Nintendo seems to have forgotten that, because they forgot to give this one. And, like, they forgot to give the vanilla splat splattershot in this game, uh, you know, uh, burst bombs, because the people that started working on this game have never seen the Splatoon game before. Yeah, they knew this weapon wouldn't be that good, because it's a fan stolen concept, and as a result, they butchered it, because anything they do original is just kind of... Not that fun anymore at this point. 
So yeah, they wanted to give this weapon some screen time because they knew it would suck with this butcher as well trying to make it original. And why is the ink consumption on this thing as heavy as it is? I don't know, it should not be given how little damage it does per hit. That did not splat, it just shows how weak this weapon is. If you guys want to base invade, I'll do the same thing. This weapon just does not splat, doesn't it? This weapon literally just does not splat. It does, just does not do damage at all. It does 0.01% 0, 0 .01 damage per hit. Oh my gosh. And we still won. The damage increase they gave it still makes still isn't uh, strong enough of one because it's still it's 100 damage sharp. What what's that gonna do in the 0.01 second it takes for an enemy to heal Nintendo? The answer? Nothing. Yeah, just Nintendo trying to make it look like they're trying to you know do something right, but they can't. It needs a bigger damage buff, Nintendo. This weapon needs a... It needs a bigger damage buff. And let me line these weapons up real quick. I want to... Use all these weapons in tricolor. Well, okay, I don't know. That depends. If tricolor is going to be in mirror match mode again, then yeah, I'm not even going to bother. Drawing illustrations now. Nice! Noise. The only time I use the wiper or the tri stringer is during Splatfest now because, like, the freshen flag is one of the stupidest ideas Nintendo had with this with the Splatoon game. With Splatoon, it's so dumb. You want to keep your freshness flag up nice and high, but you lose a match, it goes down like 10. You win a match, it goes up by 0.5. You know how it is. You know how unfair Nintendo is. It's so dumb. So the, the freshness flag just needs to be a thing. That the freshness flag needs to be taken out of the game. Let's see what I get. Lots of monies. I'm not a slosher using ballpoint splatling user. I like the sloshers, yeah, but I'm not really a ballpoint splatling user. Apparently, I'm holding the ballpoint splatling in one hand and the slosher in the other hand. <laughs> okay, imagine that. Imagine being able to dual wield different weapons in this game. <laughs> you have to use both uh, triggers. Like, I'm not sure how that would even work. Like while the while the splatling's charging up, I can slosh. <laughs> That's kind of kind of funny, actually. Okay, but uh, anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a stream right here. So with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow for to wrap up this splatfest. 
Let's see. I think I would like cherry blossom though. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I would like to showcase the new Undertale Spellway layout. All they really did was extend the. Get they kind of just extended the spawn a little bit, like more specifically the spawn out to the left here. They give you a little ramp and spawn right here, which is nice, I guess. But then they actually added this little portion. Uh, not sure why it goes out as far as it does, but okay. If they made it so that you could go around here and flank, that would have been better. If they made it so that you can literally just go through here and flank, that'd be great. But no, it's still, it's still kind of bad. I mean, they did add this little spot here. Which is nice, but guess what? Because it's an uphill, you're gonna go up and it's gonna take you forever to hit the ground, meaning a charger can still hit you from here in the time it takes for you to finally fall back down, yay. Okay, but they did at this little spot here, so technically it's a flanking route now, technically it's a flanking route, but unfortunately it's so minuscule it's so minuscule that it almost doesn't matter. If they literally made it so that it would it extended out to maybe here or here at least then that'd be a lot better a lot better but the fact that it's as small as it is means a charger can still see you swimming and get you right here and probably spot you right here before you even get into this spot and with online latency yeah that's gonna be pretty stupid so yeah overall it is an improvement from the original's design but Still kind of not too good. It's alright, I guess. But if there is one, any stage that needs a rework, it's definitely Barnacle and Dime. That stage is garbage. <laughs> like, who designed it? They are not good at designing s Splatoon stages, like, in the slightest. The background is nice looking, it's a mall cool but the layout absolutely horrendous don't know what they were thinking other than the fact that they weren't thinking but yeah that's about it so yeah you got, you got a nice little ramp right here i guess you got this isn't really much different the background is still kind of there this spot is a lot thinner this portion of the ground is now uninkable for some reason not sure why Nintendo really doesn't like to implement inkable surfaces in a game that's all about inking a surface so you can swim through because they don't know their own game design anymore. They have this sponge, which is now a vertical sponge instead of a traditional square one. And that applies to your base as well, obviously, but this is the enemy base. That's kind of cool looking, the blue and the orange. But yeah, it, it is a clear improvement. It is it is an improvement, but it's still not that good. Is this an elevator? I mean, oddly enough, the, the stage background it's it's actually kind of interesting. It is it does give me Splatoon vibes again, but a huge chunk of the maps in this game do not give me Splatoon vibes because. When you think of Splatoon, you think of like, you think of the more lifelike stages that were in the first game. You have like, how, again, you have like trees, mountains, bushes, grass, traffic going on in the background. You have like, like, yeah, again, mountains in the background. You got, you got power lines in the background. It's nice and bright and sunny. Like, summertime vibes. That's what you get with Splatoon vibes. But uh, this game, almost none of the maps do that. They just look like barren wastelands. It, it kind of sucks. But this map is pretty close though. It's pretty close. Pretty close. Not too bad. And the rework is alright, I guess. Could still be better, but again, definitely an improvement. Definitely an improvement. But yeah, that's pretty much the rework of Undertow. So... It's alright. It's aight. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a stream right here, though, so. With that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow to wrap up this Blackfest. So that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you all had fun. 
Until next time, love you all. Take care.